Hi guys, and welcome back to this Model Engineers Workshop. Today in the workshop, it's time for another fitting. Sounds like I'm getting a new suit. Hi guys, I'm the chef. Today we're going to be making a couple more fittings that go with the axle pump that we've just finished. So this is a bit of 19mm hex brass. We're going to make two fittings, externally both the same, internally slightly different. These will both get cross-drilled eventually for these little M3 round head screws. And these actually are the parts that the head of the non-return valves flop around in. And the little bolt, the little stainless screws there just stop the valve shooting too far and jamming out. It just allows it to lift enough to let the water pass through the axle pump. Right, guys. Let me get this in the lathe, get my little drawing ready, and I'll be right back to you. Right, guys, so we are now with the stock in the 3 jaw chuck. This is the 19 mil. Uh, I'm going to face this end off, then we have to center drill, drill to about 40 deep with a 7.5 mil drill. Then we've got a 12 mil drill, which we've got to go about 19, 20 deep. Quite a critical dimension, so I'm going to Drill it and then measure the depth. And if necessary, we can face this end off a bit more to get it to the right depth. Then we need to tap it and then part it off. Uh, the second one is slightly different. It has a flat bottom hole, whereas this one has a drill bottom hole. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> Right, that's the seven and a half mil hole down to depth, give or take. I'm going to change it to the 12 mil drill now, drop the speed on the lead a little bit. And uh, I think in it goes. Right, let's have a look at the speed. That was 700. Let's go down to that one. C3, there we go. That's a little better, probably. Make us very close. We need to have a depth of 19 and a half. 
we might just about be there. Let me just try and get a measure. Right, that's the bottom of the drill. We are at 19.25. Just a little bit more out of that. I can always face a little bit off this face if necessary, just to get us to the right length. Moved it, I must have moved it. Hang on. We are now at oh, 21 and a bit. Right, so let me just recheck that. And we can always face a bit more off. Twenty point five. Need to take about a mil off it. Okay, right. Let's do that then. Let's get the speed back up a little bit. There we go. I'll just get a zero on the dials. There we go. I'll get this done. Should get us in the ballpark, sneak up on it a little bit. Nineteen point five. Six. Seven, eight, nineteen point eight. Another little bit off. Right, so we have to take point three off, which I'm very close to. Said before the drawing state within 0.2 of a millimeter is close enough. So let's re measure that. <laughs> it's totally out. And there we go. Pop that up. We are at. Yeah, close enough. Right. Let's get this drill chuck out. Let's drill out the chuck and get the tap in and we'll get this tapped up. Okay, again, this is a quarter VSP tap. For some reason, all the water fittings on this locomotive are quarter VSP. I'm sure 12 mil or 14 mil would have been just as good. Just trying to lay that out of gear. Nope, that might be it. There we go. Get this tool out of the way so I don't stab myself. There we go. Wind that out. Right, move that out of the way. Oh, the tail stop down. And we're cutting. There we go. Tight. Let's get, get more 
Now look, a little bit on the drill chuck. Clear the thread, clear the tap. There we go. There. No, nope, not quite. And this is taking a lot of pulling. Use the chuck key. Give me a bit of leverage. As always, the chuck, the lathe will tell me when I hit the bottom. Yep, there we go. Yep, that's it. All right, find back out. that anymore. Yep, there we go. There's a bit of a pullback on the tailstock so that once the threads come free we'll slide out like that. Yeah, looks like we've got a decent thread in there. Good, good, good. Let me just find one of the fittings we made the other day, the other week, the other video. Take your pick. Let's just see if not the screw in. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep, that will do it. Right, now the total length of this thing fitting when it's finished is 30 mil. So we're going to uh, go a bit longer than that, as I said, because I'm gonna have to turn the next a thread on the outside of a little bit so we have a big block with a thread on the end and a hole in the other so let's have a look we'll get the little parting blade out right get this to touch off we know this blade is one and a half mils wide there we go Let's just set that to zero on the dials. So we know where we're at. Yep, lovely, clear, wind out. And now, so 30, let's go 33, let's go 35. 13 turns and 99 divisions on the compound. Okay, what did I say? 13.99. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and ninety-nine. And I left enough sticking out, so we're good. Right, let's get this parted off. Get the lathe back into gear. There we go. And then we have one to make with a flat bottom hole instead of a drilled hole. Here we go. Made me jump and it drops off. But let's have a quick look at what we've got. 
uh, there we go. You can see the thread in there. You can see the drill. Oh, hopefully, yeah, there you go. You can see the, the and where the drill bean hole goes all the way through. We're going to have to just turn this down and put a thread on this end again, the quarter BSP, but the exterior thread, not an internal, internal thread, and then get it down to the right length. Okay, I'll reset the lathe. We've got a flat bottom hole version of that one to make. All right, guys, bring you back in a tick. Right, guys, so got this drilled through with a 7.5, taking the 12 down, 12 millimeter drill down, just short of where I need to be. Now I've got a 12 millimeter end mill in the drill chuck. Uh, probably should have be a collet chuck, but I don't have one of those. Uh, make do with what I've got. So I'm gonna, I've got a little blue line there, which is gonna get me very close. Again, in, make the flat bottom. We'll come out, see how deep we are. We need to be at 19.5 again. This time a flat bottom hole instead of a drill bottom hole. And away we go. <laughs> That should give us it just about. Let's just get the calipers out and uh, have a measure again, see where we're at. Okay, let's do this. So, there we go. And we are at 19 points. Oof. Nine, so just need to. Not worry about the angle anymore. We just need to get the zero with the tool and take 0.4 off the end and we'll be right. I'll probably do it in two, two goes and have a remeasure in the middle. So I just zero the dial, put on 0.2 is my first cut and here we go. <laughs> Check, sneak up on it. There we go, let's have a look, 19 point. Say six five. Right, so not quite a full two this time. And that there, and that will get us sorted. I don't think any of these dimensions are that critical, but let's get as close as we can. 19.5, same as the other one. Right, so you've seen me tap the internal hole on that first one, so I'm not going to record that. So I'll bring you back when I'm parted off and I've got the first one turned around in the chuck and we'll get the other end done. Okay, so I've made the second one, parted it off. That's uh, there, that's the one with the flat bottom in the hole. This is the first one that had the drill point hole. I don't know if you can see, you probably can. There's just a tiny little score, scribed line, which I've taken all the way around. So the body length of this is 22. We don't need to have eight millimeters worth of thread uh, here, but I've got about 11 or something like this. So I'm just gonna turn down to create a shoulder, make sure I measure that right, and uh, get it down to 13.2 diameter, ready for threading. Again, quarter BSP, which I've already got in the tailstock die holder. Right, so let's line that out. Lays all set, here goes.
That's a bit of bulk out the way. Let's just very quickly have a quick have a check on what's what. So let's just set the vernius to 22 so that we can have a quick look how we're doing on body length. Turn that round. Yeah, we're a little bit long still, which is what I wanted. We can come down a bit. Okay. And there you go. let's just measure this diameter as well while we're at it. Feel for it. That's nice. Right, so we are at 16 and 16.4. Got to get down to 13.2. What's that give us, guys? 3.2. Right, we've got a bit of going. Here we go. being well that should get us in there close to about 14 millimeter on the diameter let's have a look we're at 14.2 another mil to come off Check, this should be about 13, 4, 13, 5. 13, 13, 4, 5. Okay, so let's go. That's point 2. That's going to be point 3 about there. That will do us. Right, I'll check this, this should be about right, then I'm just going to go in and remeasure for the 22 millimeters of the body and uh, yep 13.2, that will do us nicely, yep right now let's just have another quick check for the body length i've just set my vernius 22 again it's not a desperately critical part i don't think so as long as we're close enough and we need to go by the look of things probably got to take about a millimeter off which is i don't know if you could see it but i did actually fall short of my little line quite deliberately just so that i can always do it square this shoulder off like i'm going to do now <laughs> have another quick check on the body length 22 millimeters it looks to me to be about right okay right uh, let's get this chamfered off so it gets a bit of an easy start for the die get the tool out of the way again as always so you don't end up stabbing yourself Quick chamfer on the end with the file, and then we'll get this end, this bit, uh, tapped, uh, threaded. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, that's a lathe in out of gear. Let's uh, stand that up. Move this forwards. Move the cross slide in. There we go. Right, as always, turn the chuck wall anti clockwise and the tail stop clockwise until it starts to bite, and then you can re release everything and just keep threading. Oh, we're moving, yes we are. So I'll take the brake off the tailstock, wind that out a bit. Then we'll purchase with the chuck key. And around we go. Almost there, guys. Again, again, the lathe will let me know. There we are, bottomed out. Let's wind that I'm back. Mind my hand, sorry about that, guys. I just got to hang on to that until it comes a little bit freer. There we go. One minute, that'll do us. Now we can just do this by hand. There we are, came free. Nice looking thread. I can use the other one that we made a little earlier just to check that thread. Make sure that it's a good one. Look at that, lovely. Yeah, love it. All right, I'm just going to put a little thread relief on that. Always good to do it, just means that things bottom out. So that I'll use my wide parting tool. Let's just get that in and then we'll check the length of what we've got and we can turn that down to the required length. There we go. All right, let's get this done. Yeah, lathe back into gear helps. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're clear. That's that bit done. Let's just have a measure on the depth of that. Going by the joint, it needs to be eight. But if it's too long, I'm at 11. Uh, what to do? Um, yeah, I'll turn a little bit off. Maybe take two mil off it just to. Give me enough work, material to work with. If it gets too long, I take a second, I'll stock. I can always put it back in the lathe when we get to finishing the pump. Turn another bit off it, it's as simple as that. But I'll get this off by two at the minute. All right, hang on guys, here we go. We'll probably do it. We'll be close anyway. Let's have a look. 
we are now at just over 10 now maybe a bit more i'm going smaller steps <laughs> measure we should be down to about nine maybe just under now we're just over nine i'll leave it at that okay brilliant now just turn that thread of course so it's probably burned it over slightly oh no not bad at all there we go and with the thread relief yeah look at that that goes all all the way pretty much there we go right uh right i'll get the other one done We'll get back onto the bench and we'll take the next step from there because there's one more operation to do on each of these after that. All right, guys, bring it back. Okay, guys, so two parts made. As you can see, I just put a chamfer on the ends of the hex just to tidy up before I took them out of the lathe. One with a drill bottom. That's the drill bottom one. This is the flat bottom one. Only operation remaining now is we need to, at a specified distance, the drill bottom one is 17, I think, and this one is, the flat bottom one is 11. We need to drill 2.5, tap M3, and then these are M3 rounded bolts. These are 20 mil long, they need to be a bit shorter than that. I don't have that particular size, so they only have to cross to the other side of the hole. They don't need to go all the way through, thankfully. Uh, just enough to stop the little uh, poppet valve that's going in there rising off its uh, too far off its seat and then uh, becoming jammed right so i'll get these one of these set up in the mill we'll get one done and i'll uh, bring you back when i get that in the mill not long now okay so got the piece in the uh, mill vise got it on a packing piece underneath in here so it's the flat side we're going to drill through the flat uh, I've squared it up on the end of the vise, as is my way, so I know where the zeros are. Come across 10.9 millimeters because I've measured it across the flats and it's 21.8. Yep, and I've come down 17 and a half. So we're going to center drill, drill through into the bore. Don't need to go all the way through uh, with a two foot two and a half mil drill, and then we're going to tap it M3. Going to get noisy, guys. Here we go.
Right, well, that was all that involved. Let's just see if we have a thread in there. It looks very, very fine. It does, it is there. I can see it. So this is my M3 bolt, which I will need to shorten down. Look at that. Right. Let's get this out of here. And I screw that in there. Let's have a look. Where are we? There we go. You can see it coming across. There it is. So I just need to shorten it down by that much. And that just stops the little pop it slash shuttle valve uh, going too far and blocking the water flow. Right. There we are. Focus. Yep. Very good. Right. I'll do the other one off camera and I'll bring you back after that. Right. So that's the two bits. Same but different. Slightly different. You can see the stopper bolts or whatever you want to call them, cross bolts. They're at a slightly different position in each one. I decided to shorten down a couple of hex head bolts rather than using the round old round head ones. Same thing. Once they're in, they're in. They're never going to come out really. Uh, unless something goes drastically wrong with this axle pump. Right. Just give us a tick, guys. And that was today's work. Not bad. Right up, guys. Two more bits done. There they are. Another couple of bits go in the pile of small bits to eventually make a big bit. All right, I'll end this video now saying like I normally do. If you can find it in your heart and soul, just give me a like, a subscribe, and maybe even hit that bell. Even if you're a watcher, please, please subscribe. Your numbers are rising very slowly. It's great motivation for me to get back out here into the workshop. All right, guys, this is the chef finishing off for today saying see you later.